Hey folks, Roby here with Divi Engine. Welcome to the Divi Form Builder documentation. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the various spam protection features that you'll find in Divi Form Builder. We won't be getting into too much detail here, so definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com for other videos and support articles with more in-depth information on how to use all of these features. And don't worry if you get stuck definitely just submit a support ticket and somebody on our awesome support team will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if you're ready, let's go. Okay guys, so you're at Divi Engine, we know that you hate spam. So do we. So we've incorporated three different spam capture methods to help prevent spammy submissions of your Divi Builder forms. So let's jump here into the back end of our Divi site. I've got here a spam protection form and a Divi form I created earlier. When I open up the settings, we're just going to go ahead and scroll down to the spam protection tab accordion here. Now here you'll see the three options. We've got Google recapture. We've got the basic capture field, and that's the mathematical equation one that you'll know from the basic Divi contact form. And then by default, we add this honeypot capture field. And I'll explain what that is in a moment. So firstly, checking out the Google recapture. We offer two different versions of Google recapture. We do version two which is the visible one. And you'll know that from like the puzzles or the check mark you have to do, or maybe you need to click all the blocks that have a crosswalk or something in it. That's recapture version two. We've got Google recapture version three in here, which is not visible unless it suspects that you're a bot. So this one will only show some type of puzzle or some type of challenge to prove that you're human. Now, when you select one of these, let's say Google recapture version three, you need to find things like your site key, secret key, and then your V3 score. Now, these are things that you'll find in the Google settings for your website. This is something that we won't cover in this video, but if you check out our documentation, we'll be linking to all of those resources right there. And you can also alternatively check out the Google documentation on reCAPTCHA and the implementation thereof. Okay, so next up, if you don't wanna mess with the Google settings and the reCAPTCHA settings for that, we do offer the basic CAPTCHA field. So again, you're on the back end of my site. If I scroll down a little bit in the settings we have open already, we just check the box. Well, first let's uncheck the recapture and then check the basic capture field box. Now, if I go ahead and save this, now this is that mathematical equation you'll know from the Divi contact form. So I'm gonna go ahead and update my page. And then on the front end here, we'll see our form. Let me update it and just refresh. And here you'll see that basic mathematical equation here five plus eight, so you'll put 13 in there and your form will submit successfully. Okay, so next up, we've got the honeypot capture field. What this does, it adds a hidden field on your form that us humans can't see, but it tries to trick the bot into filling that field out. And if they do, the form will not be submitted and you won't get a bunch of spammy emails and spammy submissions for your Divi Builder forms. Now, humans won't see this, like I said, and it won't be filled out. And you don't need to worry about things like autocomplete in your browser because Divi Form Builder actually ignores that and only waits for a bot to start filling out these honeypot fields. And that's three different ways that we offer to limit the spam submissions for your Divi Boulder forms. And there you go, guys. That's it for spam protection in the Divi Form Builder. We looked at recapture version two and version three. We looked at the basic math capture field, and then we looked at the honeypot capture field that will help you limit the spam on your site. Now, if you missed anything here, definitely check out our documentation at help.diviengine.com with tons of more videos and text documentation that will help you learn the ins and outs of the Divi form builder. And again, don't worry if you get stuck. You can submit a support ticket and somebody on our support team will be in touch with you as soon as possible to help sort that out for you. Now again, this is Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'll catch you guys in the next video.